Hi, Hallie here. Hi. <laughs> hey, I was asked to make a Dodgers Christmas wreath. So I'm going to share that experience with you. <laughs> what you'll need today for that is a wreath form, which you can get. <laughs> you can get this at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. And this is um, a 14 inch. Blue ribbon for Dodger blue. Some cute little baseballs. And of course the mesh ribbon to make the wreath, which is, you can get this, oops, let's tuck that down. You can pick this up at Michael's for $10. Get it on sale, 50% off with your coupon. $5, bam, done. And then I picked up this little white with the little frosting stuff in it, because I thought that would be kind of cute for Christmas. And Dodger is mainly blue and white with a little red pop. pop. So I also have this one, which is I used one of these. So ten dollars, Michaels, or you can pick those up at the Dollar Tree, smaller rolls. Get about five or six of them, and you'll be golden. So without further ado, we're going to get started, and let's make a really cute Dodger's Christmas wreath for Connie. <laughs> some pipe cleaners and what I do with the pipe cleaners is I cut them in half that way we don't waste that's all we need is half the size of a pipe cleaner to wrap those onto the the ribbon the uh, wire the wire form some blue ribbon so we're doing blue ribbon some little baseballs and some of these I pre-cut just because I wanted to save time but I'll show you that too I'll tell you the measurements and some cute little ornaments that you want to embellish your wreath with is I pre-cut the mesh 10 inches so on the form what you're going to do is one there's six sections on the 14 inch bump, bump, bump. So what you're going to do, just to make it fluffy and pretty, is I put two on the outside, one in the middle, and one in the very middle, one on the inside. So middle one, inside one, outside two. So we're going to twist those on, and I left the tag on here just where I could go, Dollar Tree! Use the pipe cleaners that are going to match your wreath form. Now that you have your form, crazy covered with pipe cleaners <laughs> now you can start putting your ribbon on there I'm doing 10 inches just cut it like that so cut, cut out a few of these you have six sections you're going to be filling them in with one two three four so four times six is 24 but I want to show you the process this is how you cut that mesh <laughs> And if you want to go um, a six or seven inch cut on this, you so can, totally can. Um, I'm just making them a little bit more fluffier because I can. So 10 on this one as well. And I've cut a few of these out as well. And what I did on the ribbon is I'm going to do like a bow in the middle of each section on top of the mesh. So I cut these where I could get like a two wrap bow. So these 30 inches long. They don't have to be 30 inches long. You could cut them about seven inches long and put them in floppy. These are going to be in floppy. So I'm cutting these six softballs into six piles because we're going six sections in the six sections in the three form. six inches gives it enough to pop this is a Christmas wreath see how pretty that is that's a little white 
so we'll cut some of these up. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your little section and you're going to roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Not too tight, just kind of like that. Do the same with the white. Actually, I want to use this white. White, blue, ribbon. The ribbon, we're just going to loop it back and forth. So remember how when you make a ribbon, you just loop it like this, and then it's not going to twist that all weird on you. Right? Two blues, a white, your ribbon that you have that you're going to make a bow with in the middle. And we're going to pipe cleaner this on. And this one goes in the middle. Just squeeze it really, really tight and twist. Bam. And we're going to do the middle one all the way around first, and then we'll do the accents all around it and frame it. So that's one down, one down, and then when we're done, we'll fluff it all out. Well, then it's really pretty, but at the same time, you're going to be um, kind of stumbling on top of yourself. So leave these open for right now because we're going to add ornaments and we might put like a little ornament in there just to bling that out a little bit more. So in the middle we're doing two blues, so two of the base color of your team. And then I'm doing the white fluffy because I think that's really pretty because the center is where it's going to be the focal point. So let's do that. And then we're going to wrap the ribbon. So remember you have 30 inches so you're going to wrap this where you're going to have Gonna have two on each side. One, two, one, two, one, two. Once you twist these on, this will pop out. Do this a little bit more fluff, a little bit more fluffy. And let's get this on here. Lay it on, twist it on. Just twist it on there. Remember what I said, don't worry about fluffing it out or anything yet. Right now we're just putting it in on there. We're just getting her done. <laughs> 30 inches, remember? So we're going to wrap this a couple times. Two on each side for when you pop that out. in the center right now and we're doing the bling bling part in the center. So we're going to go all the way around doing that. So that's the center. Once we get it all done, you'll go through and you'll fluff it all out and make it so pretty. And I'm thinking on the outside, I'm going to use the smooth white with the blue, just to frame it a little bit. So on the center, what I did is I did two blue, one white with the blue pop ribbon. On the outside, I am going to do two white, one blue. Just because I want to frame that with the white, one of the regular white, one of the fluffy white, one of the blues for the outside, no ribbon.
Just put them on the outside. So two on the outside, one in the middle, one on the inside. I think it's going to be good. Give it three spins. Go Dodgers! <laughs> I like that. So one, two, three. Put the little curlies on the outside. That's what makes them pop too. This is where it gets fun because you have stuff on your wreath now and it's hard to get in there. Don't get discouraged, just be aggressive. Get in there and just do it. Just twist them on. roll them I'm going to show you and how loose you want to roll them. You don't want to roll them so tight. You want to have that little circular action going on there. That little curl. So you get that little curl and that's what makes it pop and make it really makes it really pretty. Twist that on there. How I get that where I can see what you're doing. Give it a good twist. Remember what I told you too in the beginning, you can use these zip ties. Pick them up at the dollar store for a dollar. And these work really good too. In fact, I'm probably gonna put one on just to show you how easy they are versus doing the twist. The reason I'm doing the twist with the um, pipe cleaners is I'm going to be using this pipe cleaner on here to add some ornaments and stuff. So I wanted to have that on there to do that, but you don't need to really, if you wanna keep it simple for you, just um, you can use those zip ties and I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll do one to show you what it looks like. We have one more section to go here and I think we'll do the inside and then we're golden. You can get the different sizes. For me, what I like best are the small ones. All you would do, and I'm just showing you the zip tie, you would wrap it around the wire and then you would take that zip tie, wrap it around the wire, and then bring it around your, your mesh, pull it, bam. Turned out really cute, even with the zip ties. And a lot of times I use the zip ties, I use both. But for this one, I wanted to use the, I wanted to use the pipe cleaners. So when you're doing something where you know you're gonna be gluing things down, I like using the pipe cleaners because they have that material and it gives it just a little bit more for the glue gun to grab onto when you're attaching your cute little ornaments and stuff. Just like it for you. Okay, so. Two on the outside, two on the outside, one in the middle with the embellishments, and then we're gonna do the one in the center. And I'm putting the baseballs in the middle. Two blues and a white with the little baseball ribbon.
So it's coming together now. It's interesting when you make these because when you first start making them, they're like, oh, they look so stark and scarce and really, then they fill out and they look really good when you pop them out and fluff them. So two blues, seven inches, one white, seven inches. This is for the inside framing, not the outside. The outside we did 10 inches. A little ribbon, a baseball ribbon. And you could make this for any sport, any team. Just use your team colors. They're more affordable. Also, Joanne sells the sports ribbon and the sports fabrics. And you, they have sales every once in a while. Usually the best sell I've seen on Joanne's for the sports ribbon and fabric is 25% off. Maybe Black Friday they might do something, but that's usually the best I've seen it. But you could make a team's wreath out of fabric as well. We can do that sometime too. Crystal Mon. See how it's coming? And it's already starting to look pretty good. And all you do is you go through and you fluff it out. Fluff out your ribbons. Ribbons just go floppy, those these little ribbon pieces. You want to pull those out and just let them flop. It looks so pretty. And then you can trim it down. But when you're first fluffing, don't trim anything until you're done fluffing the whole thing. Because once you cut it, that's it. There's no going backs. But I tell my girls, once you cut it, you can't add it on. There's no take backs when you cut your fabric. It's, it's over with. So just go through and just fluff it section. Fluff it section by section. Just go in there and just pull it up. Pull them to the top. Twist them. And I bet you when you first started doing this, you're like, I don't know if that's going to cover enough doing it that way. You can always go in and tie a ribbon in it and just make it pop some more. But you're just going to lay this through and tack it down with your leftover pipe cleaner that you have over your ribbons. That's like when I said, don't cut your, your pipe cleaners yet because you're going to use that to add your so we're going to pop this on real quick, just to give you a visual. So cool. Fluff this all out around it. That's just a little trick. And it'll make it pop to the front. Bow. We're going to fluff that out and we are going to add some really cute accents. What I do when I lay my accents down is I place them on the wreath before I glue them down. So don't get glue crazy <laughs> until you're really happy with where everything's laying. Look for the little gaps. That's what you want to fill in. I'm using this little wire cutter here just to go through and I'm thinking I want to do the, our little snowman about here. So you're just going to lay these around, make them pop, and then glue them down. And it's as simple as that. You can pick these up at Walmart, Dollar Tree. Just a cute little tiny balls in your team color. I picked these up at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're just basic 
basic cutters, heavy duty. I wanted something that was going to get the job done. So I don't get everything at the hobby stores. I shop at Home Depot too and, and Lowe's. For my tools, I want heavy duty tools that like a contractor would go through here and put these on the centers one by one. That pipe cleaner is already on here, waiting for its ordinance. Twist it, trim it, done. It's that easy. That's why we leave those little pipe cleaners on there. And then we trim them off as we put them on. And we fluff it out as we go along. I wanted to share a little tidbit because I know some of you are just making these for the fun of making them and some of them are making them because you want to sell them. Here's my point. If um, you keep your tags, like how I kept this tag. Now I need to practice what I preach because I don't always do this, <laughs> but this is a good rule of thumb. So say this costs $2. Keep your tags of what you create when it's all said and done total them up and you should charge that price even if you got it on sale you need to charge the retail price as well as what you think you're worth per hour uh, that's a good rule of thumb cover the cost of your materials and what you're worth per hour that's a fair price to ask for your wreaths now keep in mind that uh, as you do projects, you're going to get faster. They're going to get easier. So down the road, just know that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyway, just um, charge accordingly for you don't short yourself. So like this is $2, and I have three of these, so that's $6 just for these. Then my materials, that's $20, so that's $26 right there another dollar for my balls and another dollar for my little guy here my my, my Christmas thing and then uh, my little snowman and then the garland so in theory I should be charging probably at least sixty dollars for this when I get it all said and done but for me I'm making this for a friend as well as a client but she's also a friend she's helped me kickstart getting things going so I give her the friends and family discount price and that's totally cool to do that um, you know on your heart what you want to charge but at least recover your cost of your materials and if you were a good shopper and you got them 80 or 90 or even 50 percent off well that's that that's your kudos that's your little icing on top of the, the cake type thing <laughs> so um, but yeah that's that's what you should be doing that's just my little shout out as far as how to charge your your prices so um, I can hear people out there going, so what do you think you're worth per hour, hour Hallie? Well, I know what I'm worth because I was in the working sector forever. I just recently retired, so I know what my worth is. But <laughs> uh, we'll just keep it at that. But just per hour, what you think you're worth, usually between $15 and $25 is a fair, depending on what you think you're worth per hour and how long it's taking you to do it and the quality of your work. Um, and the supply and demand always has a, a play in that. And then cover the cost of your materials. Do that for yourself. And your client's going to appreciate that. And if they're asking you to do it for nothing, well then, sorry, they're not really looking out for your best interest. So keep that in mind.
you to loop them. I actually took one out and I just laid it in here just to see. But I'm going to leave some looped and I'm going to I'm going to leave some um, loose. So some are looped for bows and some are loose. It just depends on where they're at on this. So yeah, it's okay to rethink it and go back and go. Okay. So I'm just going to take this little piece out. Cut this ribbon down the smidge. I like my ends slanted too. They're just cute that way. I like them slanted. If you put the blue ball in there, it's going to kind of get lost. If you put the silver ball in there, it's going to pop with that blue. Um, with that blue ribbon. The blue ribbon is going to make the silver pop. So the blue. And it's that easy to change your mind. that looks and then you got the base you have the baseball you have the baseball ribbon coming out too to show the baseball theme and then once we get the Dodger ribbon on here it'll look really really cool so I'm just kind of rework these a little bit and I'm putting the blue on top of the blue on this one because we have two silvers here we don't want to just have it off centered we want your colors to flow that little feng shui <laughs> Going through, you want your eye to follow the pattern, be pleasant to look at. You don't want, want someone sitting there going, "Something's weird, but I can't quite, I can't quite figure it out." <laughs> so, have your colors flow as you go. So these little guys will pop off usually. Most of your flowers and things will pop off in the petal if you're just going to glue them directly on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting a little dollop of glue on and just placing it down here and holding it. Give it a few seconds to set and it's easy as that. That's, this is the patient part. You need to let it set as it's <laughs> Don't glue and then just keep on going. Gotta, gotta let that glue set a little bit. Bucks. If you use your coupon. Whatever, it's a deal. How to make 
<laughs> I'm going to show you how to turn this into something really cool for Christmas. For the ladies out there that the husbands really don't like you doing all that bling bling Christmas stuff, but they're really into their sports, if you use their uh, team theme, you get away with a lot more. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Don't forget at the end to smash that bell. No, that's not what we're going to do. For Connie, shout out Connie. <laughs> she asked me to make her a wreath, so I will make her a wreath, and you get to share the experience with me. I like that. Hi, thanks for stopping by Hallie's Creations. Just a little shout out. We are going to do shout out. <laughs> we are going to shout out. That does not make sense. Hi, Hallie here. We are going to do a Dodgers wreath today. I don't like this, so we're going to use that one. I'm just going to cut that out. Don't forget to smash that button, ring that bell, and like. 